uh, you know, the official title Shir is, did the Rambam plan to supplant the Talmud with the Mishnah Torah? Uh, and we're going to discuss this uh, historical issue uh, honestly, from the words of the Rambam himself. So, uh, <coughs> the Rambam in his uh, Hakdoma to uh, the, uh, the uh, Yara Chazoka. So he says, Right, so I, I, I took matters into my own hands. And I looked into all the books and I decided, you know, all the books which includes, as he wrote earlier, the two Talmuds, you know, the Safra, Sifre, and the, um, and the Tosefta. Right, and so I decided, you know, I put together, you know, everything that, you know, Potter, Osur, Mutter, Tomei, Tohar, Kulam Bistoshem, Brura, Derek Sache, Torah Shabbal Peh, Kulam Bistura, Kol Blo, Kusha Blo, Piruk, in a way that you'll have the whole Torah Shabbal Peh arranged for you without cautious and tutsim, just spelled out, you know, very, uh, very straightforward. <clears throat> Not with different man. The Amram, El Advarim, Brum, Krom, and Ochoim, a Pimish, but Ashish, but Ochoim, the Chibur, my Prussian, and Sarm, and Moser, and Reno, and Karsh, but Akshav. Right? So, but rather, everything will be very clear, very, uh, very short, and uh, to the point, and it includes everything from all the books ever written. I should call him going to Cotton, will go to Bedin, call Mitzvah, Mitzvah, Bedin, call Dorm, Shikh, Chachamim, and Avim. Right, so it, you'll have all the laws and readily accessible to even a small Talmud, even a big Talmud, right? And everything, including the Durabonans, the Takar Sechavit of him. Klolo Shodavar, to sum it up. Kedesh lo adam tzorich lechibor acher ba'olam. No one's going to need any other book in the world. You know, bedin medine Yisrael, in any halacha of halacha, so, el yechzeh chibor zeh mekabetz l'torah shebaal peh kula, this book will uh, it will encompass the entirety of the Torah Shabbat Peh. Yeah, it goes across the Zerus and Asli. Most most of our Chibur Atalmud. Kavoshi Pishon and Goyim Bchokvim Chibur Achar Atalmud. It's going to have everything from Matan Torah straight through the Goni. Right there. The Fiki Cross is Shem Chibur Zem Mishnah Torah. I call Mishnah Torah. Fish Adam Koreb Torah Shebechsav Tchila. Learn Tanach. You do have to learn Tanach. Vachkach Koreb Beze Viodea Mimeno Torah Shabbat Peh Kula. You don't have to read another book. Right. Sounds pretty serious. Right. So the Ram says you've got to learn Tanakh, right? and you've got to learn right, the, uh, you know, this book, and then you have a Torah Shlema. That's what it seems to be saying. Just, uh, just, a, or a, you know, just a nice point, thing to point out. You know, the Rambam, in the beginning of Hilchos Hanukkah, tells the story of Hanukkah. He doesn't do that, you know, the beginning of Hilchos Chometzu Matzah. He doesn't do that in the beginning of Hilchos Megillah. It's very simple, because he expects you to learn Tanakh, right? And, and the stories behind all those mitzvahs are in the Tanakh, you know. Hanukkah is lo nit no you know. Esther is self kol anishim shnit no There is no Tanakh that covers Hanukkah. So that's why he had to supplement it and tell you the story of Hanukkah, right? But it is what it seems, the Ram seems to be saying that the... Um, <laughs> that the, uh, this book alone will be enough, right, to encompass the entirety of Torah Shabbat Pan. You don't need, and you don't need another book between the Tanakh and the Mishnah Torah. So now let's, uh, so he was indeed accused of uh, trying to supplant the Gemara. I do want to examine some evidence from uh, some of his Igros. Um, um, I'm, the edition I use uh, for the Igris Ram is that of uh, Revitzak Shilat. So I'm first going to quote from two Igris that are in print in the Chelik of that two volume set. So he has uh, a, uh, a letter to his, uh, one of his Talmudim, Rav Yosef, Be'inyan, Limud, Mishnah, Torah. There's, that's an Igris later. Kvar Yoti Ad Shalom, Kedei Loishba Ad Shiyasek, he will call it, you know, I... I already told you, do not go lax, you should know the whole Mishnah Torah very well. We are Sifro, and make it your book. The Mishnah Torah should be book. We are Makam and teach it everywhere to, you know, everyone should get benefit from the Mishnah Torah. Because the original intent, right, um, <clears throat> Shechiber Betam is also of, of the composition of the Talmud and other books. 
Kvar Nechrasa Ava. The original intent and use of these books is over. It's finished. All right. <clears throat> Bemaso matab shabatamud, you know, the Lamdarim, they just like waste time, you know, arguing about the Shaklavitarya and the Gemara. Kiwa Kamatalis who are imun vikuach as if the Talmud's original intent was, you know, saber rattling, you know, and argumentation. Right? Lozula said nothing other than that. But that was not the original intent of the Talmud. All the you know, Shaka Vitaria and all the argumentation was by happenstance. It's just when there was a brisa, a tosefta, that you could learn it this way or you could learn it that way. So now they had, each mandomer had to bring proofs and that's how the argumentation came. So when there was something unclear and there was a divergence of opinion, so of course they had to argue and they had to ask Kashas and Terutzim, you know, to get to... Right. Go ahead. Yeah, but they, they, they were working with transcripts. No, they, they, no, he said the mitzias of the of of Shakla Vitaria and, and that the mitzias of that was not the original intent of the Talmud to be a book where Jews bicker all the time, right? But it, it happened that way because when there is a suffix, right? The, right. So they have to, but, but that was never the original intent of the Talmud, right? Uh, <coughs> So and uh, but the original intent was to know what you got to do and what you're not allowed to do, right? Of the mitzvahs, right? Right. So now we, our book, the Mishnah, goes with the original intent of the Talmud. Because it just says what you have to do, what not to do. And anyone who just wants to waste all his days in argumentation, go ahead. You know, but this is, you know, this is not what was originally intended. Okay, so there's another Egeris to a, a Talmud that went to Baghdad, which you know the, the Ram was uh, in serious machlokas with the Roshiva in Baghdad. So he was giving his Talmud you know, tips of how to cope with the series, going to hostile territory. And again, we're just to open up a base medrash of the Rambam there in Baghdad. You know, it goes in the derech of the Rambam, right in enemy territory. Of course, how did Minal of Baghdad? Right. So now we're, you're going to Baghdad. Kfar shetiha shetiftach midrash Talmud Torah Torah v'halacha. I gave you we're just to open up a base medrash and to teach Torah and halacha. In shkira yedia sachibur. Right. And of course, the ikrams should be to you know learn the Mishnah Torah. Right? <clears throat> but I'm afraid that you know, with these you know, people in Baghdad, you're just going to always be in perpetual fights with them, and you're never going to learn. You're just going to always be uh, you know, busy with fighting. My advice to you is don't be financially dependent on them. Even take one coin from being a tailor or a carpenter, but don't take any money from the institutions, the moistus there, because then you'll be meshuba to them. Right? And it's better just to make one coin from being a tailor or a carpenter than having the office of Resh Galusa. Right? <coughs> If you're going to deal with the institution, you, they'll denigrate you. Right? So I'm advising you not to be financially dependent upon them. Engage in uh, commerce, learn medicine. Right? And just be osik in real learning. Right? Right? So now, learn Rif and compare it to the Mishnah Torah 
And if you ever find that there's a you know, machlokas between a riff and uh, what I write in the Mishtar, it happens. People can learn the Gemara differently. And you'll go look up the original sugya and try to figure out where I'm coming from, where the riff is coming from. Right? <coughs> That's what... <all> right. <coughs> Right, but if you're going to now uh, waste your time, as it were, right, that's what he says. Chalas mancha with pirushim, with all different types of pshatim and gemara, right, and all the shaklavataya, these things that I gave Jewish people rest from, right? Hareza ibud azman, that is called to uh, waste your time. Umira toeles, right, there's very little to be gained from it. Right, and let me know how you're doing. Right. Sounds pretty serious. But there is over here a little clue that things are not so simple. Because he does say to learn riff. Right. So everyone knows uh, the famous Gemara in Kiddush and Daf Lamed. Lo Mishal Shadam Shnoisa, Shlish Per Mikra, Shlish Per Mishnah, Shlish Per Talmud. Kiddush and Daf Lamed. The Rambam brings that Gemara Lahalacha, and he actually paraphrases it in a way that uh, you know is very very interesting and topples the whole pile of evidence that we brought so far. So the Rambam paraphrases that Gemara. You would think that the Ram held, okay, Mishnah and Talmud is all this book. So you have the two-thirds in one book. So you shlish Mikra, and the two-thirds are this book, right? That's what you would think. Well, listen to how the Rambam paraphrases that Gemara in Hilchos Talmud Torah, Perakav, Lachirav. V'chayev l'shalish zman l'midaso. You've got to divide your time third. Shlish betar shebechsav. V'shlish betar shebaalpe. Now, he's, that's something to take note of. He's substituted the term Mishnah for tar shebaalpe. Vishlish and the third third, Yovin Vyaskil Achristovamarishi. So, right, so you have to uh, now calculate, you know, far reaching ramifications of halacha, make new halacha based on old halacha. Vyoti Dover me Dovar, you know, and compare and contrast things. Vidama double a Dovar, right, extract new ideas based on comparing things. Vyodin Bamidas Shatorn and Jasmine also make use, you know, of the Yud Gil Mishatan Jasbem, like meaning the drushes are important to research the origins of Halacha. And then you should know the, these Midas, and you should know the science of how we derived Halacha from you know, what's written in the Psukim. Right? Oh, yeah. <coughs> right? Zehu uh, Nikra Talmud. Right? And this is what's called Talmud. So now, <laughs> Talmud is not laws. Talmud is a, is a, is a, is a method. It's an analysis. Right? So now, you're not going to get that from the Mishnah Torah. Right? We're supposed to now compare and contrast, and we're supposed to research the original origins of halacha, and also including uh, working with Right, the uh, the Midas Shatar and the so it's not good what they do in yeshivas. You know, it's you know, Maruba, they skip three blot in, you know, get, get past all the drushes. Right, that's part of, you know, that's what, part of what Talmud is. Right. And he writes elsewhere that this is until you finish, and then Yosim Kol Yomav Betalmud, after you've accomplished. So it's, this topples the whole binyan. Right. Because you know, Talmud is not a book of information. You could say that the information is here. Talmud is a type of learning. Right? That you research the origins of Allah, including the Mishnah of and you create new Allah based on old Allah. How are you going to get that from the Mishnah Torah? Right? So what breaks this all apart is another Egeris that uh, really uh, changes, the whole, changes the whole thing. It's an Igeris that's in the, in the uh, aforementioned uh, set, uh, you know, in the Shilat edition, this is in Chelek Beis, in the second volume. It is a long Igeris, I'll try to blast through as quickly as possible, to Rav Pinchas Adayin. So Rav Pinchas Adayin wrote the Rambam a laundry list of Tainus on him, everything, all the stuff, 
which included accusing him of trying to use the Mishnah Torah to supplant the Talmud. And I'll read you the, the choice causes the Rambam response. This is very long in Garris, but we're concentrating on this part of it, right? <coughs> Right, so, he, so he, uh, one of the uh, famous critiques of Ram is that he doesn't say which Mandamar is Paskening like. He just says the halacha without saying, you know, what, what the source is in the Gemara. Right, so you don't say your sources. We don't know, you know, which, which Tana, which Amor you're going like. And then also, that also would be a chisorn in understanding fully what you mean, if we don't know what your sources are. Right? <clears throat> Um, <clears throat> and so, if we, you learn your book, we're going to forget even the names of the Tanoim and Amoraim, right? <clears throat> so, you know, um, so the Rambam responds, and he says like this, right? Um, First of all, I deny ever saying, this is the Rambam writes, not to learn Gemara, or not to learn riff. I totally deny that. Hayadur aid, you know, he who knows all is my witness. Sheshi Kama Shonov Shonov Achetzi Shalom Du Etzli Chiburi. Here for one and a half years in my yeshiva, they we didn't learn Mishnah Torah at all. Ela Shnayim Oshosha and Nashim Lomdu Mitzvah Sarim. Some two or three guys who came in, they learned some of the books. Veravatim Rotzu Lomor Alochas Shel Arav. Most of the time, we didn't want to learn the Alochas of the riff. I taught Gansa Riff a few times. Some people want to learn Gemara, and I taught them whatever Masechus they want to learn. Did I say to burn all the other books because I put out the Mishnah Torah? I said, I, I had to write the Mishnah because people are not as advanced, you know, as uh, they used to be to understand the Gemara. Someone can't, you know, plumb the depths of the Talmud. <coughs> right, and, uh, you know, I, I made it very clear over there, I'm doing it because, uh, you know, you know it, the, the Gemara has become too difficult. Well, we'll skip a few lines when, uh, and, and he says over here, big yesod, vida. Listen to this very carefully. Shekvara marti betilas chiburi, she'inyan shetvasvo she'ed derech ha-mishnah ve'kolosh ha-mishnah. He writes, you know, both in his hakdama to the Yad, and he also he wrote it earlier in the Sefer HaMitzvahs, when he, he says, as he's writing the hakdama to the Sefer HaMitzvahs, that he was, you know, uh, already embarked on writing the Yad HaChazaka, but he wanted to make sure that the Yad HaChazaka will encompass all Tariq Mitzvahs. So he just took a detour to count up the Tariq Mitzvahs right, to make sure nothing will be missing. So in both these locations, and I'll spare you reading so you can look it up, it's both the Nakdama to the, um, you know, the Sefer HaMitzvahs and in the Nakdama to the Mishnah. He says something that you think is Kilu, a side point, but it's really the Iker. He says, I am going to Right, she had derech ha mishnah blush mishnah. I am going to copy the style of the mishnah. Right, it's going to be the derech ha mishnah and the blush mishnah. The Hebrew of the mishnah Torah is the Hebrew of the mishnah. It's not the biblical Hebrew. It's the blush of the mishnah. <coughs> and v'atem lo samtem leiv l'dvarai v'lo yedatem for sheish ben derech mishnah ben derech atan. Now you didn't pay attention when I wrote that the Akdama, that the Mishnah Torah is patterned after the Mishnah, hence why it's called Mishnah Torah. <clears throat> um, you don't know the difference, it seems, between the Derech of the Mishnah and the Derech of the Gemara. Okay, just want to skip a few lines. Um, where he gets to the Yisod. Da, alufi miudai, you should know. Shekomi shekosov sefer, ben bedivrei Torah, ben bedivrei shar chokmas, ben min agoyim karim, balei achokmas, ben min arofim, echa bishri adron rochez. Anyone who ever wrote a book, right, in any, Torah and lahavdil, chol, anything, in any discipline, there are two possible styles you could write a book in. Right? O derech chibur, there's a composition, you know, where you just collate the material, 
O derech pirush, or you write a commentary. Right? The derech achibur, now the style that's called chibur, right? It's called the composition, or safer. Who will ask your drum and horn bilvad, blow kusha blue puruk, or blow shum raya ba olam, kamosha asara bena kosh ba chibur a mishnah? Right? The way of chibur that styles just to say what's correct, just say the facts, not how you arrived at the facts, right? Not, uh, you know, not any dissenting opinions, right? <coughs> and not who said it, just the pure distilled facts. And that's derech chibur, and that is derech ha mishnah. That is what Rabbeinu Kaddish does in the Mishnahs. Right? That's, that's the idea of Yeah, but, right, so as he goes on, you know, as, as, as the Rambam wrote elsewhere, right, that the, the only reason why Rebbe sometimes brings down Manda Omrim is because other people heard that Manda Omrim wants to make you aware, I know that other Manda Omrim, and Allah is not like him. All right, so the derech of the Mishnah is just to say what's correct, period. Right? And that's the derech of the Mishnah Torah. V'derech ha-pirush, now, the way of commentary, right, it's a different style. L'ask your drum and chorim v'drayim achir ma'asal sorim, you know, to say what's correct, say things that might be a stira to them. V'akushis al kol dar v'apiruk, right, you say all the kashas and all the terutim. V'ayish shedar mez v'zeh sheker, or shedar roi v'zeh, ain't a roi. V'zeh o derech ha-talmud, right, the Talmud is a commentary. It's a commentary on the Mishnah. The commentary explains the my timer, right? So it goes into why it was said and how do you know it's correct? You know, that's the role of a pirush. The role of a chibur is just to say the facts, the correct facts. The pirush is what goes into the shock of Italia and you know, where it come from, how do we know? Right? Vanilo city pirush, el a chibur. The Mishnah Torah is not a pirush, it's a chibur. It is in the derech of the Mishnah. Derech Mishnah, right? Shema Yom, this is what he said. Mishnah lo yavin, while Mishnah kosuf shemos chachamim, v'idam es shezu raya ploni amar bo kach v'koch, ein zu raya, raya u lo odia, mi pnei ma amar ploni kach, u pnei ma amar ploni kach, zui a raya. He said, but we do bring, you know, uh, you know, the, uh, Rabbi Akar sometimes brings man to Amrim, you know, it's only for reasons to say that he's aware of the other pins, that he's still passed away, but he doesn't give all the time in, just says, not why they say what they say. That's the function of a pirush. That's not the function of a chibur. And the Mishnah is a chibur, or called a sefer. Right? And then he just goes on to uh, you know, explain that the, um, you know, that uh, as far as, you know, well, we don't know the Masoris. Right? At the beginning of the Mishnah Torah, I list all the 40 generations from Moshe Rabbeinu until Ravina and Ravashi. So you know, anything that's in this book you know, came from one of those you know, 40 generations. Right? So it comes out an amazing thing. Right? The Rambam said he's not the new Gemara, he's the new Mishnah. Right? You know, it is a Chibur, a Chibur. Right? It is a composition. Right? It's a Sefer. Right? The Gemara is not a Sefer. Right. The Gemara is a commentary. And that stems very well with the way he described it in the Shlish Talmud, in Hilchus Talmud Torah. It's, it's a way of learning, researching the origins of halacha, making new halacha based on old halacha. It's a method. It's a, call it technology. Right. It's, a, it's, the, it's analyzing where it came from and making new halacha based on old halacha. Right. That's what Gemara is in essence, right? It's, and it's, it has a different function and a totally different style right, than, uh, than Mishnah. Right? Rob says, I wrote a chibur. I didn't write a pirush. So now let's go back to, <laughs> everyone knows that Gemara, you know, in Kiddushin, Daf Lamed. Shlish, 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 right? Shlish Mikra, shlish Mishnah, shlish Talmud. Listen to how the Rambam paraphrased that Gemara. Right? There's a all. Shlish tar saksav, shlish tera shebaal peh, and shlish is yovin v'yaskil, you know, the, what we said, you know, the, engage in the research of the origins of halacha and, and also create new halacha based on old halacha. He calls Mishnah tara shebaal peh. Right? Because, and this I heard from uh, also Jacob Warmer, the Colonel of Racha, right? If there is something that's called that tara shebaal peh took on a goof, used to just be a commentary built around Chomish. The big Chiddush of Rabbeinu HaKadosh 
right, to make the Mishnah so that the Torah Shabbat had a manifestation. The manifestation that there's a book of Torah Shabbat as opposed to being a commentary on the Bible, that's the Mishnah. The Mishnah is the body of Torah Shabbat Peh. Right? Right? Gemara is not the body of Torah Shabbat Gemara is a way of learning. It's a pirush. The body of Torah Shabbat Peh is Mishnah. <clears throat> so now, there's another famous Gemara and Brachas everyone knows. Vetnas luchos ha'even, ha'tora mitzvah shechasavti lo rosam, luchos ha'z luchos. Ha'tora, zu tora shechasav, v'ha'mitzvah, zu mishnah, zu mishnah, right? Ha'shechasavti zu mishnah, lo rosam is Talmud, right? This is how the Rambam paraphrases that Gemara, right? In the very beginning of his Hakdama to the Yad HaChazaka. All the mitzvahs were given with their, you know, their perush al peep, al yo, of Torah Shabbat Peh. Shalem, I've read the Luchos Evan, Hatorah Vah Mitzvah. Torah, Zu Torah Shabbat Shabbat. Mitzvah, Zu Pirusha. Vitzivan Lasso says, Torah al Pia Mitzvah. Mitzvah Zu, he a Nikres Torah Shabbat Peh. So what Gemara calls Mitzvah, Zu Mishnah. Ram says, this perush is what's called Torah Shabbat Peh. So it comes out amazing. People misunderstood the Rambam, right? Listen to what he says. Let's re-examine what we opened up with, you know, in the end of the Hakdama to the Mishnah Torah. Right? right. So he said, I'm, I'm eliminating all the Shaka Vitaria, right? And it's not going to end all the names of the Mandabrim, meaning which is like the Mishnah does, right? Klolo uh, Shel Davar, right? You don't need another chibur. This is the new Mishnah. Right? This is the chibur. Right? This is the chibur. Right? This is the chibur. Right? is you don't need another chibur. You still have to do the shlish tam, which is derech pirush. Right? So, the Rambam, you know, the Mishnah Torah is the new Mishnah. And you know, and also, when well, you learn Shulchan Aruch, what are you learning? You're learning Mishnah. Right? You're learning Mishnah, you're learning Mishnah. You're learning Orach HaShulchan, you're learning Talmud, because he also goes, and that's what Roshiva Zichron and also held. You could be Yotzi Yehochi of Talmud Torah with Orach HaShulchan, because he also does a little bit of the Shach of Adar, shows where it comes from, and how we know, and Rias, right? <clears throat> and uh, so if you learn this book, this is how you know Torah Shabbat Peh, as in Mishnah. You still have to do your Shlish Tam, which is an intellectual exercise. It's not material. It's, it's, a, uh, it's, a, it's a, to engage in the analysis of learning, whether it's the analysis of the origins of Halacha, or the analysis of making uh, new Halachas, right? Okay, Nira. Okay, thank you. I mean, he wants to make a point. Yeah. It's called Nikri. Wow. In other words, yeah. This is the whole point. The whole, the 